Hey guys, it's Barbara Girl, and I went to the Breaking Dawn release party at Target. I had a fairly good time at the event, uh, and that has everything to do with the fact that I bumped into some people to hang out with. I got to wait in line with my friend from church, Michelle, and her grandmother, which was really nice, and after I got my ticket to get my DVD later, I got to hang out with someone I went to elementary, junior high, high school, and community college with. That's Jill. And she is actually a subscriber and apparently watches a lot of my videos. So, hello! And put a little comment down there saying hi. <laughs> actually, all these pictures you're seeing right now, they are from her camera. And Overall, I enjoyed my evening, but I don't think Target did a lot. I said it last night, and I'll say it again, I miss Borders so much. I mean, in general I do, but I really missed it here, because Borders put on such a fun event, and this was just not. It was me hanging out in a store. They didn't do anything fun. They had a movie clip, which showed, uh, for those of you who have read the book, Bella finding Alice's message after Alice has left, talking about her premonition. And that was cool. It was very short, and the way we got to hear it uh, was on a bunch of TVs, and the audio was pretty bad, but the concept was fun to get to see that, but that was about it. There wasn't a lot of fun things, other than the Starbucks inside the Target made a Edward and a Jacob drink. And the Edward one was pretty tasty. Didn't have the Jacob. But I got my special edition DVD, and that's cool. As for the DVD itself, I got the Target special edition. Uh, there's several people that were annoyed that didn't have a Blueberry option, at least in the stores. Or that it wasn't a combo pack. I do not have a Blu-ray player, so this was perfect for me, unlike Harry Potter that started screwing over its fans last couple movies <laughs> without anything cool on DVD. This just had cool stuff on DVD. Uh, this is the one from Target. The inside. Kind of nice. And in here. This is the reason I went to Target. This is my flower. It is a prop from the set. It comes with uh, the back talks about its authenticity and that's very cool. As for the DVD itself, this is the Target Special Edition but it has the same features that the other Special Edition has. Other than this, there's no difference. Uh, there's a couple fun things on there. There's um, a six part documentary which was good. There is commentary. I wish Stephanie Meyer did one. She didn't do one this time and I love her commentary so that very much bummed me. Um, it's just a director. There's no secondary commentary or anything like that. Um, there is a wedding video, which is really adorable, and it's got all the friends and family saying things to Bella and Edward, and I really, really liked the wedding video, and that was great. However, there were no deleted scenes, which particularly bugged me because in the commentary, I Bill Condon is talking about all these very cool things that he shot, like the Rosalie and Jacob fighting scene, a uh, scene where Edward is like practically beating up Jacob. Just several different scenes that sounded really cool and really fun, and I was looking forward to watching them, and I pull on my bonus disc, and none of them are there. Uh, in the documentary you get like a few seconds of looking at Edward and Bella doing breakfast together but that's really all you get and it's not you're watching the scene. I am very disappointed because they were talking for ages about this Volturi scene they had filmed and I wanted to see it and none of it. <laughs> you get like 30 seconds of that or less than 30 seconds of that in the documentary too but I wanted them some people are saying maybe they're going to put them on something later, which is just mean and a snap at the fans to buy something later. It almost sounded like from the commentary that they are planning on 
releasing Breaking Dawn in one movie form later on, so maybe it'll be on that. I don't know, but then again, the director made it sound like those the latest scenes are going to be on DVD and they weren't. So, uh, I love the movie. It's my favorite Twilight movie. And there's none of the issues the book had, because the only issues in the book were in book three. <laughs> so, uh, and mostly just a pacing issue, which I think the movie could probably fix. I talked about the movie before, I think. <laughs> uh, for the most part, they did a really faithful adaptation. I, I miss getting to see my wedding, but I wouldn't have gotten my prop flower, <laughs> probably, if it wasn't outside. Overall, it was cool. Target should probably stuck up step up its game for the last one, it probably won't, but uh, I'm glad I got to hang out, and thank you friends that I hung out with, and to all of you out there, I hope you have a great day, God bless, and I'll see you on Tuesday.